Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Star Trek Panic. This game supports one to six players. It's for ages 13 and up, and the average play time, well, my best guess is about an hour to an hour and a half. If you're playing the short game like we are today, maybe it'll be a little bit quicker. Here's a quick look at the rulebook and some setup instructions for assembling the Enterprise there. The rulebook is about 16 pages or so of this particular size. It does a fairly good job, but um, there's you know a couple of rules in here that um, you may have to refer to every now and again because there's a, there's a little bit of nitty grittiness going on. So um, if you've ever played the game Castle Panic, then you'll be very familiar with this one. It plays somewhat similar. Um, I covered this, I want to say five years ago, but we've never actually filmed a playthrough of it. Like Castle Panic, players will be working together to beat the bad guys or beat the game collectively. In Star Trek Panic, we have to complete a number of missions. The missions can be tracked right here in this little blue section and there are numbers that are double-sided. Uh, so as we complete missions, we'll do that's the first mission done, then the second mission done, and so on. There's more numbers over here. In the standard game, you have to complete five and clear all of the bad guys from the board. If you do that, you win. In the short game that we're playing, we have to complete two missions, and the two missions are predetermined for us. There is an entire deck uh, card system worth of missions from the actual TV show, uh, the Enterprise, and this is the original series, obviously, mm -hmm. Kirk, Spock, Space Seed, you know, Khan, Khan, although that was Star Trek II, Wrath. Anyway, Charlie X, one of the first episodes, Journey to Babel, that's with the flying glute kick <laughs> that Kirk did. I'll show it oh, to you later. He was fighting the Tholian... Uh, or uh, Andorian in the hallway. Yeah, I And he just kicked <laughs> off the wall anyway. Uh, the enemy within, alien encounter, and other things. So uh, these missions will tell you how long you have to complete it, any special conditions, and it'll tell you what cards you need to assign to this mission uh, symbol-wise in order to complete it, and then there may be a reward associated with that. Again, this deck would be shuffled typically and put here and you have to do five of them. However, in the short game that we're playing today, two of them, there's one face down under here, which I don't see a reason why it needs to be that way. Mm -hmm. um, there's outpost defense, and the other one was something else that was predetermined. We have three turns with which to complete this, and there's a tracker up here that's on the three. When this hits zero, we fail it, unless we've completed what it wants us to do. There are some mission tokens, that we put out based on what's here, what's active. There's only one mission active at a time. There are shields that can be damaged. The Enterprise has these blue walls around them, which I'll go ahead and just show you the camera real quick. But there's these, these are shields right here and they can be hit twice. Once to be damaged and twice to be removed. A damaged shield looks something like this, assuming I can fit that or slide that on there. I don't wanna break it. But yeah, this slides on. That is a damaged shield right there. The second time it gets hit, you actually just remove this altogether, and the hull is exposed. Oh, wow. And once the hull is exposed, uh, the Enterprise will start taking uh, one damage to the section that is empty. So like if, if, if this shield is gone and a hit goes through it, you're going to assign one of these blast or damage tokens to that particular section that it goes to. Um, there is a guide there, yeah. quick reference as to what hull is affected based on what shield is down and, and where it gets hit. Cool. So for example, if the side gets hit, then you would put the damage marker here. Um, if the front right gets hit, then you would put the damage marker up here. If that, if that section already has a damage marker and it gets hit again, you're going to find the appropriate destroyed section and put it over top like so, just mm -hmm. to show that it's been destroyed. And if three or more sections of the Enterprise get destroyed, it can no longer maneuver. Unlike Castle Panic, you can actually move the Enterprise around in this, like rotate it. 
to face a different direction. You can also move forward and bring all ships that are facing it one step closer to the Enterprise so that you might be able to hit whatever's there. All other ships to the side and the back do not move. Only the sh ships in front of the Enterprise are affected should you move forward. Uh, the Enterprise starts between the 1 and the 6. Like Castle Panic, it's broken up into sections 1 through 6. There's a six-sided die that will help us spawn ships out of this bag when the time comes to add more threats to the board. Um, what else? Oh, when all of the Enterprise's hull sections have been destroyed via these things, then the game is over. We lose. Okay. On occasion, we might lose our ability to maneuver, in which case we slide it over top the Enterprise like this, and it would slide down onto it. That would tell us that we can't move forward or rotate at all until we fix it. Um, what else? Oh, there is a deck of Enterprise cards. These are good. We want these. This is like our Castle Panic deck that allow us to, to attack enemies, to repair our ship, to do some kind of effect. And like the Castle Panic cards, Typically, anytime you go to attack something, it'll specify what sections can be attacked. Um, this one says short range rear phasers. Um, this one is short range front phasers and so on. So you'll be able to spend these to damage the ships out here. Mm -hmm. And because this is co-op, you can clearly see what I have at all times. And likewise, I can see what you have. So we can always put our... <laughs> it's a co-op. Why are you complaining? I've never seen you... Anyway. It's just the hidden stuff. I like hidden stuff. But it's a co-op. <laughs> You're so weird. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. You flustered me. Each of these enemy ships, like in Castle Panic, uh, the monsters in Castle Panic had numbers on them. Uh, whenever you draw a new one, the highest number faces the middle, and that is its hull strength. So every time it takes a damage, it rotates, and then it rotates again, and when there's no more number, then it's destroyed and removed to the discard pile. Uh, if there's no more tokens in the bag, we need to draw them. Anything in the discard will go back in the bag. So it's a never-ending bag. Um, different ships have different abilities. Um, I'm not going to get into them now, uh, but just to quickly, as an example, the Tholian will, when it reaches short range, rather than attack you, it will stop the Enterprise from maneuvering. It, it has the Tholian web, which folks, you know, may know from the episode where Kirk gets sucked into a different, like, messed up universe, and Spock and the Enterprise crew go crazy, and they have to, anyway... The Tholian web, look it up. <laughs> um, so, as an example, the Tholian ship does something slightly different than the rest of them. Okay. Um, each player gets a character. I am Kirk and you are Spock, but I'm giving you the option to pick someone different oh, if you want. Cool. Uh, there's McCoy. Scotty. There's Sco you want Scotty. I want Scotty. Oh, well, I there love you go. Scott. You don't I even care. know what the abilities do, care. but you want... Okay, so you gave up... Draw, during the draw two new threats phase, so whenever you draw new ones from the bag, mm -hmm. Spock lets you draw three, choose two of them, and put the third one back in the bag, just to sort of mm -hmm. get rid of nasty ones. Mm -hmm. You got rid of that, and instead, <laughs> which is fine, Scotty's good, during the play cards and maneuver phase, repair one damaged hull or shield section without actually playing a card. So you actually get to repair part of the ship for free. Why couldn't my special ability just be like, Captain something something, Captain, whatever he says. <laughs> Why? That would be the most useless ability ever. Your, your ability lets the player talk Scottish. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That would be amazing. W without the other players getting mad at you. <laughs> I am Captain Kirk. Uh, during the play cards and maneuver phase, the first time you commit a card to the mission by playing a card to the mission to try and complete it, assuming it needs one, um, you get to draw two Enterprise cards. Although I may want to think about that because I, I can't assign any cards to this one. So maybe I will pick someone other than Kirk because he's useless for that particular mission. There <laughs> is... like the kick on the wall. Y <laughs> the what? The wall kick. That he oh yeah, the, glu yeah, the glutinous <laughs> wall useless. kick. The drop kick. Um, 
McCoy is during the play cards maneuver phase. Search the discard pile for one security team, but there's that's kind of useless. Check off during the play cards maneuver. Deal one additional damage to one target attacked with a phaser card. So if I attack with a phaser, check off can do extra damage. Sulu lets me do, um, I can maneuver the Enterprise twice. Typically, you can only maneuver once on your turn mm -hmm. by either rotating or going forward. Sulu lets you do that twice because he's the navigator. Uhura, during the play cards and maneuver phase, look at the top two cards of the Enterprise deck. Draw one and put the other back on top or on bottom of the deck. I might just go with Spock because <laughs> okay. I like Spock. Yeah. Uh, he's my guy. I love Scotty. All right, well, there you go. I really like Scotty, too, but logical. Oh, I've given it all I've got, Captain. Is yes, very doing? good. Okay. That is very good. <laughs> that Highly illogical, but good. Okay. All right. So I think I cover 75% of the rules. Okay. Um, here's a quick look at what we'll be doing on our turn. Um, draw up. Now the hand limit will depend on the number of players in a two, one or two player game at six cards for your hand. So I've dealt six cards to her, six cards for me. Uh, you're going to reveal a new mission if required. Uh, we've already, in the setup, we've already revealed this. Um, so we don't have to do that right away. But if one was completed, we would draw a new mission. Trade a card optional. We get to draw, uh, we get to trade one card with another player, any other player. Play cards and maneuver. Um, three or more hull sections are destroyed. Players may not maneuver. Uh, check mission status to see if this mission was completed. Threats move and fire. We'll get into more of that later. Mm -hmm. And then draw two new threats from the bag. Roll the dice and place them out like cool. you would in Castle Panic. Okay. Um, so I guess the question is, uh, let's go ahead and get this outpost defense thing taken care of. Mm -hmm. This is the first, our first of two missions that we're going to have to do. Mission starts at three. I've already done that in the upper left there. Um, and it says, roll the die and place the Orion Raider in that long range sector. The Orion Raider it comes from these mission tokens here. Go ahead and roll the die. Here you go. No, you do it. You sure? Yes. Oh boy. You got this. Three. So it spawns here with the four facing the Enterprise. Okay. Okay. Now, um, it says the raider does not move or fire um, while the mission is in effect. So it'll just stay here for three turns and do nothing. Okay. Um, mission objectives. Players must destroy the raider before time runs out and destroys the outpost. If the mission fails, do not remove the raider. The raider does not move, but it will now fire on the Enterprise like any other threat. Mm -hmm. So if we don't kill this thing in three turns... We uh, fail the mission, and whenever you fail a mission, it goes underneath the deck, and a, well, during the appropriate phase, a new one is drawn. Um, so long story short, we have three, three turns to do four damage, because okay. there's four on here. Yep. Okay? To this thing and destroy it before, if, if we fail, then it stays here and it just keeps shooting at us instead. Mm -hmm. Because it's destroyed the outpost, now it's refocused their efforts. Okay. So we've done that. Um, if we are successful, um, re uh, repair up to two damaged hull and or shield sections. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that being said, um, who wants to go first? Yeah. We should probably compare cards to see who can do the most. But you're number two. You're Spock. I know I'm like, second I'm in command. However, you might have cards that might help us mm -hmm. more so than me. For example, I've got a force field, which is place the force field token on one uncloaked threat token. Yes, there are Klingon birds of prey and Romulan birds of prey in the bag that will cloak uh, and prevent you from firing at them. Um, to set up the game, there is a Klingon battle cruiser, a Romulan battle cruiser, and a Tholian ship mm -hmm. that is placed on one, three, and five. This Orion was part of this mission. That's why it's out here. But yeah, we're going to look at our cards now and figure out who can do the most with, the, with what, what's available. Okay. Keep in mind that we can also trade one card. What's an engineering credit? That is used, and I might as well just show you this now. The other mission is Distress Signal. Mm -hmm. We would have to assign certain cards to it. Instead of playing a card for its effect, you can play the card for its icon on the actual mission to complete this objective. Okay, so it behooves you to 
save some cards. Yes. That have that. We would particularly want the red and the yellow one. Yes. Okay. Okay. These are the only two useful cards, it seems. All right. So you've got a long ranged, any facing, hit one target at long range, rear facing. That's not terrible. Mm -hmm. What other cards do you have? Uh, um, everything else is side. Is there? Do you have any side long ranged? Yeah. Okay, so what you could do, you could use these two, rotate, and then use this one because now your side would be facing. You know what I mean? Again, when you maneuver, you can maneuver once on your turn, okay. uh, and any any time you want. Okay. So you could use two cards to shoot out the back, okay. then rotate, and now your side is now facing this direction. You could use that card to shoot that again. That's just one thought. Well, could I use that? Wait, how many cards can I play? As many as you want. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I can just I, wipe out the raider. You could do that. <laughs> that would be very quick. Um, that's fine, but what do you want me to do in terms of helping you out? Um, I, I have one long range side phaser. Yeah. So I'm tempted. Do you have any other cards that Actually, you're not going to use? Maybe. Because I'd rather give you this. Can you give me like a medium do range one? Do you have one? any red and yellows for the next missions? I do not. You don't. So what if I save these two for the red and yellow then? Well. And let you hit. There's going to be more in the deck. Oh. Okay. So I would say it's up to you. Oh, I have a red right here. Yeah. Um, I'd say use what we can't. Just get the mission out of the ways. Because we also need to attack these things. Okay. Whatever ships don't get it, get destroyed will move toward us mm -hmm. and shoot. No matter where they are, they'll shoot at us and do damage to our shields. I have another thing here. That's forward. And that does two damage, which isn't bad. You could use that against this thing. Yeah. Um, I also have a long-range side phaser mm -hmm. that you could possibly use on this Tholian here. Do, are you, is there any cards that you're not going to use this turn? Because I can trade you this card for one of them. Like this medium range. There's no none at medium range. Mm -hmm. I'll take your medium range and give you the long range. Okay. Okay. So what we did so far, we drew up to six. We already were there. Reveal new missions. No. So now we traded a card with each other. That's optional. So now you can play cards and maneuver. So okay. now you're going to play whatever cards. So, okay. So how about this then? What if... What if this is only, well? This is only one. Right? That that is one. Yes. So what if I use one of these to take that out? Yes, you can, right? and you can because it is a side long range hit. One target mm -hmm. at the long range on either side facing. So you're going to discard this card. Yes. To take out the tholian. Yeah, and right. then what if I do this one to hit for two on this thing? You totally can do that. So this one is. Um, two damage, mm -hmm. which is at two there, hit deals two damage to the front, mm -hmm. any range. So this goes from three to one, which you did. Awesome. Okay. So now what if I do the back, the rear, let's get that out of the way. Okay. So that's one damage to a rear facing ship. Okay. Um, so oh, but I need a card to maneuver, don't I? You don't need a card maneuver. It's, it's oh, okay. You automatically get one maneuver okay. on your turn, whether it's to move forward or to turn it. You can do I it at see. any time. Okay. So you could do this and then turn and then use this. Should we wipe this out? It's up to you. With this? Um, yeah, I mean, I can try and knock this out. The problem is... Um, do you have any sides? I, I don't have any long ranged. I have Ooh. all medium and short. So I'm not going to be much help against this in the future. Um, I, can, I have a side as well, a long range side. I'd say if you can do as much damage to this as possible, because we, we only have three turns to take this out. All right, so this one, I'll use that to hit behind me. All right, so that you're going to hit this one? Yes. For, okay, so this go, four goes to a three. Okay. All right. And I guess I'll do... Rotate that there on the sides to okay, so you're going to maneuver. I feel like that's kind of such a waste because like His the reward for that is to repair, right? Yeah I'm, Well, you're not gonna kill it this round. Are you yeah one two three, right? Okay, unless unless you hold on to one well That's up to you. I mean you might be able to kill it 
before the timer. Like I. All right. Uh, what if I just use? What if I just do one, two, and three then? What happened to? I had five. I had. I don't know why I only have five cards. Did I? What'd you do? Um. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, you have three cards left, right? Yeah. yeah, somehow I'm missing a card. I don't know how. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just draw another one. That's fine. That was weird. Yeah. Okay, so... I should have six. Two, three, four, five. Yep, I have six now. Okay. So, okay, so what if I do one, two... No, one, two, three. If you want. Get rid of that one there. Okay. So you're going to do two damage to this one to mm -hmm. knock it out. Mm -hmm. This Romulan... Battle cruiser is gone. Now, should I just knock this one out with this? You can't. or should I just? Do you think you can get three damage on this before time runs out? I think we could. No, if it, it, it's if you want to, go ahead. I think we totally could. I think we should just clear the board as much as. All possible. right, that's fine. So <laughs> you're going to spend that to get rid of that instead of. So this has three health on it. Yeah. So you wiped out everything except for our, which is fine. That's really good. Yeah. All right, so with that being said, uh, you're right. out of cards. Now it says, check mission status. Well, it neither succeeded nor <laughs> failed. Because we haven't succeeded yet, this goes down to two. Okay. Okay? Any cards, by the way, that have been added to a mission stay there mm -hmm. until it succeeds or fails. Okay. So it is possible to put one card on it, wait a couple of turns, then put the remaining cards on it to complete it. You don't have to do it all at once. Okay. Um, next is threats move and fire. Well, there are new threats that can move toward the Enterprise and attack, so we're good. Oh, really? So this can't move forward? No, like I said on the outpost oh. defense thing, this stays here and does nothing. Oh, that's right. Okay. Until that's this right. mission timer is done. You are right. Uh, draw two new threats. It doesn't fire, though? I thought it fired. No. It says... The raider does not move or fire while the mission is in effect. The only time this moves and fire or uh, fires is when if we fail, now it'll fire at the enterprise. It's right now it's engaged okay. with the outpost right now. It's okay. it's busy with the outpost. If we fail to protect the outpost and it gets destroyed, it'll turn its attention toward the, the enterprise. Okay. All right. So, so you draw one from the bag and roll the die to see where it goes. What is it? I don't know. It's a Romulan battle cruiser and it spawns at two. That's not terrible. And then one more? Yep, and one more. You spawn two every turn. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Three. 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 Oh. Okay, well, we're. What the? That is a star base. That's actually one of the few helpful ones in the bag. Ah. So the way the star base works is whenever we move toward it, it, stay, it never moves. But we can rotate the ship and move toward it, and that will essentially suck it toward us. Um, whenever we land on it, we repair damage, and, among other things, and we draw cards. So it's a resource if we need it. Cool. That was really good <laughs> picking well, from you. I don't know like how common that is. But... It's it's one of it's the only one in there. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You did. You got very lucky. That's funny. <laughs> All right. So my turn. I have to draw up to six cards, which I should already have. Sorry. Um, no, it's fine. So I've got these available. What? Those are action cards? Those? Yeah, I've got my six. Reveal new mission, trade a card optional. Well, we can't. I meant like huh? this one. Like yeah, that's an card. action card. For Rand, for example, draw two Enterprise cards yeah. and add them to your hand. I could also use it as one of these wow. as a wild for a future thing. I might hold on to her. Mm -hmm. um, or I, I might try and draw two more cards to try and attack this. Um, let's yeah. see. And this thing doesn't move. So even if I turned it and moved toward it, and if, it, it would never move. Mm -hmm. So I have to hit it with long range stuff. Um, actually, yeah. So I, I have no long ranged. Wow. There's not much I can do, unfortunately. Can't mulligan, huh? Uh, unfortunately, no. Like, you did all of that. Sorry. Like, there's nothing I can do. I mean, I guess I can discard Yeoman Rand to draw two new cards and hope for something better. Uh, Dilithium and Direct Hit. Wow. Play this card with a Phaser's card to destroy the target. So this is like, if I play this and this together, oh. it'll instantly destroy whatever it hits. But I have to play both at the same time. Which one's the Phaser card? 
this this is a phaser card. Oh, that's a phaser card. That's a phaser. That's a phaser. It all says phasers on them. But unfortunately, like, there's not a whole lot I could do. Mm. Um, this is long range. What I may end up doing is I'm going to spend my maneuver to move forward. Reason I'm doing that is I want to suck this thing closer to the Enterprise. Okay? That way I can actually play cards against it. Because I all see. of mine are medium ranged. Okay. So, so you're maneuvering. So you're sucking forward is just... Moving. Not moving the ship. Yes, correct. It, you mean correct. So you can do one of two things with a maneuver: okay. rotate or move forward. I see. When you I move see. forward, instead of the actual model moving, yeah, you're simulating that by sucking whatever's in front toward you. Now, wouldn't technically wouldn't these go to four? Then you would think. <laughs> However, in the rules, anything that is sides and back do not move. Really? Yes. That's odd. That is in the rules. Don't ask me. Yeah. Send a letter to the I'm company. Homebrew that. <laughs> yes. All right. I guess we'll say that we're using the tractor beam instead. Okay. <laughs> if that's how you want to look at it. Um, okay. Um, so with that being said, that token does not move or fire this turn. Um, side. Oof. Okay. So it, even then, I can only do this one. I could do direct hit with it. And I, I might actually keep this for you and mm. give it to you so you could knock this out on your next turn. All right. Do you want to give it to me? Well, I can't trade with you until you trade back with me. We'll do it on your next turn. Oh, so you have to trade one of them. Yeah. So I'm just going to do medium range, any facing. This card, that, to hit this once. Okay. And uh, force field. I can play that. Place the force field token on one uncloaked threat token. That token does not move or fire this turn. Um, so I'm going to force field, assuming I can find it, there it is, this Mold. so that, yeah, so it does not move or shoot at us. Cool. Okay. As for the rest of it, uh, this is all short range, short range. This is medium but side, and I can't maneuver anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, repair one damaged shield or play with one tritium. So I'm kind of useless right now. There's not much else I can do. I've got five cards left in my hand. Um, well, yeah. did I see a purple there? What do you mean purple? This one? Yes, oh, but it's side. Um, and you already maneuvered to second. Yes, so I, I, it would hit this spot, unfortunately. So, um, I guess, I mean, I could have played that first, but... Rather than no, I it was here. I moved forward. That's right. It was it was facing this way. I sucked it toward me. So anyway, so that's all I can do, unfortunately. So I'm gonna end that. Um, check mission status. There's one turn left on Ooh. it. Uh, threats move and fire. Well, nothing's gonna happen. This thing doesn't move or fire. This stays where it is. This stays where it is. So I'm gonna draw three from the bag and choose two to place. Now, can you suck? This thing? No, I, no. It no. says it does not move. It doesn't move on its own, but you can move forward to it. Yeah, I don't know. It just okay. says it does not move, so right. I don't know. I'm all right. So I'm gonna draw three from the bag and choose two. So one, two, three. All right. So Tholian, that and that. Let's see what these are. Magnetic storm. Roll the die and rotate the Enterprise one to three. Sector one counterclockwise. Four to six. So it's either going to go this way or this way. And I really don't want to mess with that. I'm fine with putting these two out. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put this event back in the bag. Mm -hmm. This is a Klingon battle cruiser. Battle and, cruiser. And I will standing by. It's not Starcraft. But <laughs> six. So that goes here. And the Tholian goes onto the three, wow. which is here. Um, and this force field is no longer there. Okay. So, getting a little crowded, but uh, we're okay. Um, this comes back to you. <laughs> You're not just come back to uh, Well, that's my story of my life. So, you get six oh, cards. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you. Please tell me you've got a long, one long ranged in there somewhere. Okay. Do you? Okay. All right. I have this one. All right. Well, hold on. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll just show you my cards. <laughs> well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to okay. give you direct hit. Oh. So okay. that you can destroy it in one hit. Oh. So all you got to do is rotate this way. Okay. We ha you have to kill it in this round. Yeah, I do. 
So give me a card you're not going to use, and I'll give you direct hit. Um, you don't really have any long range. Maybe I'll give you that one. Okay. Just unless you want something else. Well, all of these are going to move closer, and I won't, well, actually, this is any range, actually. Yeah. So. Um, Do you want anything else here? Well, here's the thing. Uh, what's cool is that this tritium, mm -hmm. tritanium rather, goes with dilithium oh, to oh, do something special. There you go. Um, you can play these together to, to do even more. Um, it says repair this one, dilithium. It says repair one damaged shield or play with tritanium to rebuild one destroyed hull or shield. So I can keep these to repair a, a destroyed something. Mm -hmm. So I'll keep these as a backup, I okay. guess. Alright, so, okay, so what if I do this? What if I do this one first, the short range? Which short range? Oh, wait, be? no. Short range is this. Correct. Thing. Dang. Okay, um, okay. So I'll maneuver. You're gonna maneuver and turn the Enterprise this way? Yeah. Oh. But now you can shoot out the front. Oh, okay, okay. And use you. This is this is now the front of the ship. Okay. So, um, so I can sh I can destroy that thing with these two yes. cards, right? Yes. So this says play this card with a phasers card to destroy the target. It's too bad it just can't be like any phasers card. It has to be like one that actually hits it. Yes. Okay. It has, you ha well, yeah, you have to be able to hit it. <laughs> okay. It just stands the reason. So this is gone. Okay. So this gets destroyed. I'll okay. go ahead and discard. That's we needed to do that. Yes. Um. Um. Now, can I? Now, does that get sucked in at all? The what? space base thing. This... You have to move forward to do that. The oh, star bases oh, oh. don't move. They're just. Oh, that's right. They're that's just right. outposts in space, waiting for people to come by. Can I, should I wait to use this because it's a yellow or do you have a yellow on you that you could spend for the next mission? Uh, I don't have a yellow, no. Ooh, so maybe I should wait on that because I was going to use this to hit this. Go ahead. Well, but... there's, gonna, there's more cards in the deck. If we don't get a handle on these now, they're going to overwhelm us. All so right. hit what you can. All right, I'll hit that then. All right, so one damage against that. So that goes from three to two, that Romulan battle cruiser. Battle cruiser, sorry. Wow. <laughs> Right. They're not Russian, they're Romulan. <laughs> I know, but Starcraft. <laughs> and, um... Your motto, battle cruiser. And I think that's it, but maybe I could play this. Do not draw any threat tokens. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's an event, so you would not draw any new bad guys. This cool. Time. Now we check the mission status. All right, so it is complete. We've destroyed it. Players must destroy the raider before time runs out. Um... Repair up the two damaged hull and or shield sections. Well, there's no damage to the Enterprise yet, so we'll just mark that as one complete. Mm -hmm. This is now done. Didn't and you say you've modified the game so that it would be uh, less time or something like that? What I said was that we were playing the intro game, yes. which is two missions. Two missions. Normally it's five, and you would use this entire wow. deck of cards. Okay. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five. These are the five that you would get. If you fail one, one would go to the back, and then okay. you possibly see a different one. I feel like this is just like a test run. Like, it is. Well, that, like, that's that's. I'm trying to keep the video light, short, mm -hmm. and to the point. But if you're feeling daring, maybe we'll tackle a third one if there's time. But it feels like that um, Kono Konobuyashi. Kobayashi mission. Maru. Yeah. <laughs> Kobayashi. <laughs> yes. All right. Sorry. The Kobayashi Maru. Anyway, that's a no-win scenario. It looks like we're winning. Yeah, so, that's true. That's yeah, true. We're one step ahead of the Kobayashi Maru. Anyway, so, um, check mission status. Threats move and fire. Um, we don't draw new threats, but they will move and fire. So okay. this is the first time we're actually going to see some damage. Ooh. Tholian moves one step closer and shoots. Ooh. That does... This is all simultaneous. It's going to do damage to this hull section. Nasty. Assuming I can get it on without breaking it. Ooh, don't this one is going to move closer and shoot while it does it. Okay. And that is going to do one shield damage over here. Ew. And there we go. Very snug. <laughs> this one's going to move one step closer and do one damage over here. Okay. I, I hate how tight that is. I feel like I'm going to break it. Okay. Um, I don't see any other enemies, right? Mm-mm. All right, so that's so far shields are holding. Isn't this a web as well? That's only when you're at short range, oh, and we'll get there. Oh, snap. Okay. Mm, we'll snap, indeed. We'll snap. 
Uh, draw two new threats, which you don't do because oh, yeah, right. you played no sensor contacts. Yep. All right. Um, so it is now my turn. my turn. I get to draw up to six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I've got some short range crap going on, which I could probably try and knock that one out first. I have cards to give you two. All right. Um, so yeah, we reveal a new mission. Uh -huh. really? Distress signal. Five turns. Um, mission starts at five. Place, roll the die. You have the die? Yep. Okay. You do, you roll it. No, it's your turn. No, go ahead. No, I already rolled. Do it. Oh, jeez. Do it. Do it. Wrong universe, but do it. Six. Place the disabled starship in that long range sector. Mm -hmm. Disabled ship does not move or fire. Mission objectives. Players must maneuver the Enterprise so that the disabled ship is in a short-range sector, plus commit one engineering credit and one command credit to rescue the stranded crew and complete the mission. Ooh. So we need to rotate this thing this way and yes. move toward it. Oh my gosh. In five that's, turns. That's so crazy. So I'm going to... One, two, three, four. You would be able to do it in four turns. Well, no, remember... Rotating it this way, this is the front. So rotating uh, it twice is enough to get in I range see. of it. Okay. But then you'd have to move forward. We have to <laughs> we have to move every single turn. Yes, yes we do. Okay. okay. So before I move, however, I want to do whatever damage I can to my front facing stuffs. Let me take but before do you have any let me see what I've got and then I'll see what you've got and okay. then we'll, we'll figure it out. And we also need a red and yellow com badge, right? Yes. On the mission thing. The, I have short range phasers which can knock this one out. Okay. I'm just I'm just in my head thinking this. Now I have a medium side phaser, so when I rotate this, I can hit this. So I don't need to worry about these two. Okay. Um I however have, I have a rear end. Do you have a rear? I do. Okay. So I will give you a Oh, well, mm -hmm. I'll give you this short range rear for, I mean, for that one, I guess. It's the same exact Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, that's a short range. I need medium range. Oh, oh. Because I need oh, a medium range right. because it's on two. Um, you know, well, I've got a medium range that when I rotate this, I can attack that as well. Okay. I just can't do enough damage. Do you have anything medium ranged? No. No, okay. So we don't have to trade then. Um, so what I'll do is no optional trade um play cards so the first thing i'm going to do is do the um not that one this one short range front phasers and it's just one damage but that actually hits this and this goes away so that's one down next i'm going to rotate the enterprise um like that. So we can hit on the sides. So now I can hit the sides. What I will do, and if the Tholian hits here, we will no longer be able oh, to maneuver. Oh, oh, that's not good. So I have this the medium range side phasers to knock that out. Rather than hit that, yeah. I'm going to knock this out so we can continue maneuvering. I agree. Um, and it's for the rest of it, I have short range, short range, rear, nothing else I can do here. Oops. All right, so we had a power failure. <laughs> Lasted all of five seconds. I guess Scotty is not as uh, efficient as he could be. I'm going to have a, have a talk with him later on. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm too busy trying to fix <laughs> the see. Enterprise instead of I see. <laughs> I'm giving it all. God, Captain. There you go. Yeah. All right, anyway. <laughs> all right, anyway. I've Right. Cannot change the laws of physics. I've got to have 30 minutes. I need a script. <laughs> yes. Anyway. That was so, from the Naked The Naked time. Now? N naked oh, Now was next gen. Naked Sorry. Time was the original. Okay. They were trying to do... They were trying to escape uh, Psy 2000 or 3000, whatever it was. Anyway. So let's just continue with the game. <laughs> I'm not a Trek nerd at all. Um, so I can't do anything else. So you're not going to use those cards to 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 heal anything because you're waiting for a hull damage. Well, right? I I can, um, I can totally do repair one damaged hull, or play with a dilithium. I would or say hold on to them in case we have a destroyer. repair with. Uh, so I could repair this shield, mm. or or no, but yeah, I mean he's going to hit a nice 
solid shield, so I'm not too worried about repairing these. Yeah, yet. not yet. Okay, so I'm done. Okay. Um, check mission status. We're down to four because we didn't complete it yet. Um, threats move and fire. This will move closer, Ooh. and it'll shoot as it does so. Okay. And it'll do one damage to this. Now, if we don't, just for the folks at home, if we don't destroy this and it tries to move again, if a shield is here, it'll fire and bounce off the shield. What? However, if this is gone, it'll board the ship. This goes away, but it'll do that much damage. Whatever hull value it has left, it'll do to the Enterprise. Oh, dang. Mm -hmm. If there's any overage, like if a section of the Enterprise is destroyed mm -hmm. and there's overage on damage, we permanently discard cards from this deck from the game. And if we ever have to draw up to five and we can't, then game over. Wow. It's not going to happen in this game because we're doing too well. Yeah, I think so. All right. So I'm going to... Um, Draw. Oh, I get to draw three. One, because uh, Spock's Spot. ability. Mm -hmm. All right. I kind of want to keep the Romulan Bird of Prey. Ooh, that comet. Okay. Comet. So the comet, <laughs> you roll the die. Wherever it goes, wherever it lands, the comet, let's say, let's say I roll a one. It'll go from here and hit the Enterprise and destroy anything and do two damage to anything in its path. Um, that destroys enemy ships, too. Uh, so if it, if it were here, and there were ships here, two damage to both of these things, and then it would continue and hit the Enterprise for two damage. Okay. Um, that's what it does. I don't really want to do that because mm -hmm. there's not there's not there's no enemies out here yeah. yet. So I'm tempted to get rid of the comet, put it back in the bag, and just deal with these new ships. Now this blue border is a Romulan bird of prey. It does two damage when it shoots, but it also has a cloaking device. Cloaking devices are a special thing. When it goes to move and shoot, uh, it doesn't shoot. Instead, it cloaks face down. Okay. And then you roll a die later on a future turn to move it either left or right, like rotate it around. Okay. And then on the next turn, it reveals itself and then it shoots. So when it's, when it's decloaked, it'll cloak. When it's cloaked, it'll decloak and shoot. Okay. It, it, I, uh, that's the gist of it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to roll the die and place that one. Three. Oh, that's nasty. Mm -hmm. And then roll the die and place that one. It's a six. So it is here. Okay. All right. So now it is your turn. Okay. We are going to draw up to six cards. How many do you have? Two. So four. So you need four cards. There you go. Oh, All right. Cute. Oh, interesting. I have the same thing, dilithium and tritanium. Cool. You shuffle these cards? I did. Okay. Relax yeah. yourself. I could have played uh, my one dilithium to the distress signal, but I was hoping that you had a yellow card. Yeah. Um, um, so, okay. first of all, do you have anything that can do anything where you are now before you rotate toward... Um, I do not. Oh, wait. What is borders? Is that borders Correct. from these guys? Yes. So, if the shields were down and they tried to hit the Enterprise, let's say the shield did not exist. Mm -hmm. If this hit the unshielded hull, two damage would go through, but you can play a security card, or security team, to minimize that damage down to one. Interesting. Okay. Maybe um, we'll... Before you do the anything, though, I can trade one card with you, okay. assuming that you need any of these. I've got two rear-facing ones, which uh, may not be helpful. Yeah. Um, I can give you a... Tr if you're not going to use one of them, I can give you a... Uh, a dilithium to help you repair the shield there. Scotty's ability also lets you to, to repair shields. Yeah, so I can repair one damage shield section without playing a card. Yeah, so do you so, want to just repair yeah. this one? Yeah. Keep it nice and fresh? Yeah, and I will i don't have any sides, so I'm just going to gonna maneuver and turn towards the guy. All right, so you're going to do something like this? Yes, and I will use this to smack him in the face. All right, so it's a short-ranged front, so that's a one damage. Mm -hmm. So he's down to one. Okay. And now when he comes to us after I finish my turn, does that mean that that this that means that this takes the damage or? Yes, it it'll, it'll move and shoot. And because there's shields there, it'll he'll stay where he's at and destroy the shield. Okay. <laughs> and 
Unless so, you play dilithium or something to, or the one to get rid of this one. I think you repaired this one when we should have repaired this one. Uh, because now let's that... Let's on it. <laughs> we can wreck on it if you want. Yeah, why not? All right, so I'm just going to move that over there. Yeah, we'll just fine. say that we'd repaired the one that was over there before. Yeah. Um, assuming I can get this off without yeah. breaking anything. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, sure. Because that's what my thought process was, of course. Of course. Of course. It is only logical to assume only. that you thought of this. Yes. Um, okay, so then now when he crashes into this, this one gets a shield. Correct. Right? A damage to the shield, correct. Okay, all right. That's better. And I, that's all I can do. All right. Um, that's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I have a bunch of rear-facing ones, but nothing like... Um, I have to wonder if it's possible to discard cards that we don't want. I know, like... That would be nice. I'm looking in the, uh, in the rule... I, I was reading the rule book and I did not see anything about, um, I, I, it's probably, if it would be anywhere, it'd be under, uh, the very first, uh, play cards, no, nope, trade a card, no, nope. the draw section. Um, that's so weird. Maneuvering the Enterprise... Check mission status. Yeah, it's so weird. This rule book, like I said, oh, here it is. Players start their turn with that. Um, yeah, it just says drawing up to their starting hand size. It doesn't say anything about You're drawing new cards. Stuck with what you got. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I would have preferred something that can... Uh, and under play cards and maneuver... Um, it doesn't say anything about um, played cards are placed in the action. Yeah. So, all right. Should I just get rid of this card then? And that way... Get um, rid of it how? Like, just play it now? Yeah, to, to play it on it? this? No, like, just... To... N no, it, it, that only works when there's no shield. Oh, but I do have a shield there. You I do see. have a shield there, yes. All right, so why not just play that for that then? That's fine. That so way. that's one thing. That's one that we need. Yes. So we just need red and yellow, right? At this well, yellow, just one yellow. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've already got the red. Now we need the one yellow. Yeah, yeah. Um. And that was it. So now. Well, did you want me to? I need to get rid of something here. Well, it's not your turn yet. I right? know, but I meant to trade. I, I oh, to trade. I was gonna trade before you played. Oh, uh, I have nothing. So you can play some of these to get sh to. You want to play as many cards as possible to get more cards from the yeah. deck. So I'm thinking we use your uh, these two to get rid of. Or to well, titanium. Try titanium is for hull, not. Oh, I see. Dilithium is for shield. Titanium is for hull. So what I was gonna do was trade you my dilithium. Titanium. Yes, so that you could play both of these to clear out your oh, hand. Oh, that's smart. Um, and repair maybe these two, no, maybe, yeah, these two hall sections. Like yeah. this one and that one, just to get them out of here. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I'm going to, that's fine. So I'm going to get rid of that one and that one. Mm -hmm. Scotty will, and I just got rid of this, that's fine. Let's pop this shield out of this thing. All right. I didn't have trouble. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm a brute. What do you Jeez. want? Jeez. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> I have delicate. Delicate. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> now have you what? seen the way I rolled my dice? Yes. All right. So we traded cards. We played that card. Yes. We maneuvered. <laughs> Check mission different, status. Different orders. <laughs> we didn't do the mission yet, so we're down to three. We didn't complete it. Okay. Um, now is draw two new threats. Yes. Now, are you supposed to play cards first and then maneuver? You can you can do maneuver anytime. Okay. You can play a card, maneuver, then play another card. Okay. You can break it up. Okay. But you just cannot do it before trading a card? Correct. Because hmm. it says play cards yeah. and maneuver. Okay. So you would trade first and then do play cards and maneuver. We simply retconned it to where we traded before you played anything. <laughs> okay. All right, so these are the two new threats. All right, so this one you drew first. This is a Klingon Bird of Prey, which also cloaks. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and roll the die. It's over here. And we'll see where this goes. It's a one. one. And this is Ion Storm. Roll a die. 
Apply one damage to shield or hull in that section. Six. So, okay. So oh, this one here? Yeah, that's going to take... Um, yeah. Actually, the threats did not move or fire yet. So, before we placed these, this one would have gone here. Yeah. We skipped step uh, six. Oh, okay. So, this one already takes a shield. Uh, yeah, that's going to that's gonna go forward and hit. Okay. And that is going to go forward and hit. So, that's two damage. So, our shield is now gone. And because the third... the Because three shields... Is it two shields and then the thing is gone? It's one... Sh it's... Two damage to the shield will knock it out. I see, I see. And there. That is so lunky. It is a pain in the tush. Wow. Let's put this on first. Uh, I hate this thing. <laughs> All right, and I have to try and fit it on there. Okay, okay so now that shield is gone. And now this gone. was not there yet. This one, instead of firing, will move up and cloak. Cool. That's right. Now, on a future turn, because it's cloaked, we're going to roll a die and figure out if it moves this way or this way or know. stays where it is. It'll decloak and then shoot. I see. Okay. Um, and now we did this one, which spawned there. This spawned here, the Ion Storm. That does one damage to that section. Mm -hmm. So we actually take a haul damage. Um here. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a question. This one moved and fired. Does that mean that this one gets destroyed? Not yet. It, remember, this had two shields before. N n oh. Whenever it does not... This stays here while the shields are up. Okay. At that point, the shields were up. We had a full shield here. This moved forward, bounced off the shields, but it still shot us. Okay. It's trying to get through. Okay. Right? So it did one damage. This did one damage. We're out of shields now. We okay. removed them. Then the Ion Storm hit, and that mm -hmm. now that does one damage. On the next turn, if this is not gone, it will hit and board us and go away. But I it'll see. it'll do one damage because it has one strength okay. left. All right. Oh, Star Trek. All right. <laughs> oh, Star Trek. Star Trek. You and your logic. Whatever. Logic. What? Okay. <laughs> right. Draw up to six. I'll pretend like I didn't... <laughs> All right. Everyone's saying, get a new girlfriend. One, <laughs> Star Trek girlfriend. <laughs> Reveal new mission. Don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, trade a card optional. Um, do you have anything that could help me out? Uh, yeah, I think I have this. <laughs> I cannot shoot a cloaked ship, unfortunately. Oh, snap nuggets. Um, like, unfortunately, all of my freaking cards are short ranged. And rear. we have to keep that there to suck this in. Yes, I have to I, I have to maneuver forward. Yeah. Um and we move that timer. What the I did already. Okay. Yeah. Well it's not it didn't get there yet. We're 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 on trade a card. We move the timer during the check mission status. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately all of our stuff is rear facing. Do you have any yellow cards at least to put to in the mission? I do not. They're all blue. Ooh. All right. I have a medical scanner. Draw two Enterprise cards, add one to your hand, and give another to another player. So if we are not going to trade, I'll just start playing cards. Yeah, I would say repair the hull with your two. I will. Things. Well, I can only do one. Oh, that's right. Uh, repair one damaged hull or play with dilithium to rebuild one destroyed hull or shield. Uh, this is a destroyed shield. If I had dilithium, uh, maybe I should do medical scanner first, just to see what we get before I, I start okay. doing that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play medical scanner to draw two enterprise cards. Mm -hmm. There's the yellow. Oh, perfect. So, and there's a red. Ooh. So I'm going to give this one to you. Um, you wouldn't want to just play it? Yeah, maybe. Yes. All right, so maybe I'll give this to you and you can play that on your next turn to assign here. Because uh, he's not going to be in range anyway. Uh, even if okay. I assign this now... Um, to this mission. I have to keep one and give you one. Okay. If I keep this and assign it, we still have not completed the mission because the Enterprise is not in, this is not in I short. Know. So I'm going to give that to you to assign to it next turn. And I'm going to use this now to attack that ship. Well, I'm just curious. Why wouldn't you just assign it? Because it's still, then you get this one. Why, why would I want that one? Medical scanner. 
Draw two cards, oh, one you're... to your hand, give the other to the other player. That's what I, okay, that's what I missed. Sorry, that's what I missed. I only read it six times. Or I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I, I don't hear very well. Put, get <laughs> Lieutenant Yohora to give you one of those communicator things that's that you stick in I your need. ear. I need it to speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Repite, repite, oh, repite. Repite. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play this one short range to yeah. just wipe this out. Okay. Um, it's not going to stop the inevitable, but mm -hmm. um, I I have to move forward because yes. if we don't, then yeah, I'm going to move forward because if we don't, then we're going to fail, gonna fail mission. the mission. However, because I moved forward, that also <gasps> now comes forward. Oh, wow. I am going to use one Tritanium to repair one damaged hull. Mm. Um, that will remove this. Not that it matters, because when that hits us, it's going to do two damage anyway. But I can repair this with my ability. No, you can't. What do you mean? That is a repair a damaged section. It doesn't say anything about restoring a completely destroyed section. I know. There's a difference between but, damage but, and destroy. But this has two... That counts as destroyed. Two do not go on here. One goes on. The second damage is a completely destroyed section. Oh, I see. There's other... That is repair a damage. I see. Which is... Well, well, he has a shield section, right? The shields are gone. You'd have to restore the shields. I thought this is a shield section. It is. So it says repair one shield section. Rep again... There's nothing to repair. The shield is gone. Oh, okay. You would have to have this here, and this this is repair. Okay, all right. All this right. is this is repair. That's repair. Okay. But the shield is gone. There's nothing to repair. Ah, You'd have to I restore see. it first before you can repair it. And we need to restore. That's all. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, anyway, we're not there yet. Yeah. Um. So I move forward, mm -hmm. uh, short range side phasers, which I can't do anything with. Tritanium repair hull, uh, short range back, short range back. Okay. This had a, a damage thing on it, right? It did not. Not yet. Oh, did it? Yeah, it did. No, I repaired it with my tritanium. Oh, you did. Okay, okay. Not that, I was just trying to get cards out of my yes, hand. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so um, I'm done. Okay. Check mission status. We're not there. We're down to two. Mm-hmm. Once this gets here, we win. Okay. Um, well, we have to survive one more round. Once we are done, however, once we do all the missions, we have to. Cl no more threats will yes. spawn, but we have to clear the board. Yeah, that should that shouldn't be too bad. Mm -mm, no, um, we still have the star base that does, we can always go to in case we get into trouble. Does that thing restore or only repair? Star bases do three things. Um, let's see, where are they at? You said it so confidently. They do three things. <gasps> Let me turn to the rule book. <laughs> uh, no, that's not it. Uh, Starbase is in here somewhere. You can, you got this. I believe. Check mission. It's a special token, so it'd be toward the back. Let's see. Romulan and cloaking ships. Uh, maybe it's on the back. Yeah, this is it. Yep. Starbase. Um, receive. Okay, so you do all three. Repair up the two damaged shields or rebuild one destroy shield. Repair up to do damaged hull or rebuild one destroyed hull. And then all players draw one card is what you do with the star base. And then you discard it. So Wait. we could go there and restore this entire section. Hmm. But anyway, focus on what we're doing. Okay. So um, I'm done. Check mission status. We already moved that. Um, threats move and fire. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, this moves. They now boarded the ship. And that will do two damage to that. And because each whole section only has two, um, this entire section right, is this damaged. is right side, but so I want left side. Yeah. So this is now destroyed. It's all right. When there's three of those, we can no longer maneuver. Okay. But we're good. There we two more. So, uh, this one, mm -hmm. per the, actually this will move forward and cloak. This one. That's a... Let's see. Uncloak. Uh, roll a die. I didn't know birds of praise cloak. Bird, bird of praise cloak. They do. Wow. Nasty. Four. Okay. So according to this, on a three or four, the uncloaking ships remain where they are. Okay. So they're gonna stay here. 
And then they will um, move, okay. After determining where they should flip them face up and resolve all simultaneous effects as normal. So this will stay here and decloak and do two damage to that section. Okay. Because there's only two, this is completely gone. Oh my goodness, they hit hard. Two damage, yeah. Wait, so wouldn't it be three? What do you mean Wouldn't three? they shoot by default and then add two? No, it's just two damage. Oh, just two. Yeah, okay. by default they all do one. Yeah. This two simply is a special case where Just this one does two. Okay, I see. Because the Romulan birds of prey have a very powerful plasma yeah. shot. I, that's why I thought it was just a plus two. I thought this no, two meant No, not a plus. Add. No. All right. It's, right. it's, it's attack value, not okay. plus. Right. Okay. All right, so uh, is it my turn? Well, let's get so. there. <laughs> threats, draw two th new threats, but I'm going to draw three yes. because I'm Spock. And then pick the ones that I want. Um, one, two, three. Okay, so we've got another... Ooh, Nomad. Ooh, nasty. It's a Nomad. Nomad was from the episode... I'm not going to bore you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I am Nomad. You are the Kirk, the creator. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to keep that one and get rid of... I don't like this Romulan. It does two damage. Mm. Oh, actually, Nomad does two damage just on his own without cloaking. Maybe I should keep the Romulan bird of prey. I'm not sure. Um, you know, just for thematic... I'm going to keep Nomad, just for thematic reasons. Okay. Uh, and then we'll keep that one and put the Romulan back in the bag. Okay. So now I have to roll the dice and place these as a one. Uh, there's that. And this one there. Five up there, sure. All right. Although Nomad doesn't have any health. <laughs> so how am I supposed to kill him? Um, that is interesting. Nomad is nowhere. Is is there a? Is it on the back? Nomad. No, this is Romulan Kang, Koloth's battle cruiser. I wonder if he just does two damage. <laughs> like it's not even listed here. I wonder if no. I bet you Nomad is a special token. So that should not have been in the bag. I have to redraw uh, another one. Okay. That was probably a mission token. Uh, okay, so I have to place that on, on one instead. All right, good enough. Okay. My bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure if I look in here, Nomad would be in here somewhere. Changeling. Yeah, there's Nomad. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I drew a mission token rather than an actual threat token. I see. That's okay. Darn. Okay, um, so now you draw up to six cards. So three more. One, two, three. Okay. Trade a card. Should we trade a card? Reveal new mission, trade. Well, I've got these. Um, I have nothing. I have all short range crap. <laughs> um, so I have I have rear. Mm. This is going to move up and cloak. So maybe you might want to rear. I don't know. Um, uh, what do you think? Well, first, I should probably put this as a yellow. Yes. All right. So we've got the icons. Now we just need to move the Enterprise forward one space. I could shoot this guy, right? Totally. Yeah, why don't you do it? Okay. So medium range phaser, and it does one damage. Oh, I thought I had to roll. <laughs> nope. Um, I have nothing to help you, sorry. I have short sides can, and short rear. I can remove one threat token from anywhere on the board and return it to the drawback? Yes, okay. So do I do this one? Yes, absolutely. Because that one hits for two damage as well. Okay. So you're going to play the Corbinite Maneuver. Mm -hmm. And here's a quick look at that, folks, in case you want to read that. All right. That's one of the starter episodes of Season 1. Okay. And that gets removed. Nice. That's a good one to have. I have this one again. Security <laughs> Team. Same That's going to be useful for when they try to board us. You can play that to mm -hmm. prevent damage. And you said you didn't have anything? Well, I can't trade with you now. You've already gone. Why? You trade first, then play. Oh. Fudge. Well, still, we could always work on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't have anything to help you. All right. Why don't you maneuver, though, forward so but, that you can do this? Yeah, I would, but you maneuver. Oh, okay, fine. I'll do that. Now, by doing that, cloak ships do not move toward you. Oh, interesting. Should I play this or should I wait? Well, you, you can play that to repair one damaged hull. There is no damaged hull right now. Oh. Uh. 
you can restore this one, but there's no damage. You don't this this to, is damage. Yeah, you don't have dilithium either. I do not. Um, I can... You I'm going to repair this. Makes sense, because there's that Klingon yeah. cruiser, bear, Romulan battle cruiser. But as a quick trivia, both the Romulans and the Klingons used D7s. Uh, that's why this Klingon uh, D7 looks similar to the Romulan D7. So we the Romulans. Mission status yes. And... Thanks for cutting me off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Half the video is just you. You know what? Star you know what? Trek. It's relevant. Okay. When else can I show off my Star Trek knowledge? When we play Star Trek Risk. When we or Star. What, is this Star Wars? It Risk? was Star Wars. Star Trek and Star Wars are not the same thing. No. Oh. <laughs> Get out. I will finish this game on my own. <laughs> He's going to destroy the Enterprise. Oh, You're just going to crash I've already the activated gun. the self-destruct. <laughs> That's funny. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Destruct zero. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, so, you're done playing cards. Yes. Check mission status. Is the ship within short range? Yes. Was there a yellow and a red credit assigned to it? Yes. Cool. So that will complete this mission. Mm -hmm. You may repair up to two hull and or shield or rebuild one hull section. So it's either you rebuild, rebuild a hull. Yeah, you can't. It doesn't say anything about rebuilding shields. I this was a hull section. I know. I was simply saying we couldn't rebuild these shields, but you can, yes, repair this. <laughs> and it is now. Let me finish. You, you've explained it so many times, like trying to get it into my head that now I'm finally kind of getting it. So I'm glad, you know, <laughs> so this is now gone. This disabled ship is gone. No more threats spawn from the bag. Our goal now is to wipe the board of enemies and we win. Wow. Okay. Okay. So now we skip threat, uh, the draw two new threats, but wow. first we threats move and fire. So this is going to move one step close. Actually, no, it's going to cloak. And move one closer. Uh -huh. um, this is going to decloak. So roll this, and we'll see what it does. What? It's a one, and clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, clockwise. So it's going to go this way with it, and then it's going to decloak and shoot. And it doesn't move forward; it just stays in its. Section. It just stays. Yeah, and when it decloak, it just sort of shifts. Okay. It's going to do one damage to the shield here. Okay. And that one back there moves forward and hits the Enterprise for one. Okay. And there's a damaged shield there. Okay. And there's nothing else, okay. as far as I know. All right, so we skip the spawn new threats part. Mm -hmm. I've got four cards, so I'm going to draw up to six. One, two. That's nasty. You can't even hit it. It's so yeah, it's close. cloaked, unfortunately. I have to wait for it to decloak, hit something. Do you, do you want this? Well, I've got this. I've got short... No, that's not it. Medium ranged... Okay, let's, yeah, let's trade first. Do you have anything that... Um, I've got Tritanium for hull damage. Yeah, I And you do know. too. I've got a bunch of rear freaking... Yeah, I don't know. You could maneuver. I could, but even, even then, I have no medium range. They're all short ranged. I'd have to move forward, but there's no one... <laughs> oh, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what I may do is I'm going to um, play this one, Ooh, one to do a medium. On, I'm going to hit this one, and it's going to go down to one. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, there's not much I can do. Um, I, I, what I want to do, I think, is rotate the Enterprise this way. Yeah, that way, fresh shield, fresh shield damage when this decloaks it's either going to go this way stay where it is or go this way mm -hmm. either way this minimizes our damage to the hull and this allows us to survive a little bit longer um so with that being said my turn is over did you want to play tritanium to repair the hull or to repair shields that is only for hull tritanium is for hull only not shields oh, dang it. that's dilithium that you're thinking I of keep forgetting, sorry. that's fine so, um, check mission stat. Well, there's nothing to worry about. Threats move and fire. So, we're going to... This is going to move forward and cloak. Wow. This one is going to... Six is counterclockwise, so this way. Ooh. It will decloak and do two damage to this shield. 
and it is gone. Nasty. I hate that this shield is like right underneath the hull. Take the ship off. I'm first. tempted just to do two freaking shield tokens, so I don't <laughs> have to. I'm just gonna do that. We're just we're gonna say the shield is gone. We're gonna put two here and say the shield is gone, rather than me destroy this thing trying to get that out. I would say why not a red one. Fine. I need a red one. Let's go red it, one. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Sorry. Do a red one. It'll be great. I actually know because it doesn't. Uh, this is not large enough. Oh, dang. I'm yeah. gonna break it trying to ha get that to happen. <laughs> Sorry. So one and two. What is? Oh, that's for the hall. Okay. All right. So this shield is gone. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. That cloak, this moves forward and does one damage Nasty. to this shield okay. here. But no hull damage, which is awesome. Yep. Okay, so now you drop get to, to drop six. to six. One, two, three. Scary. Yep. All right. Don't forget this. Scotty's ability. Yes, I'm going to repair this one. It's gone, remember? This one, this one right here. You're going to repair this one. All right. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There's that, and I'll right. put that back. Now, ooh, okay. I got things. All right, so let's see. I can do a rear. Okay. Actually, before you do anything, let's trade cards. Ooh, okay. I've got a rear. How many rears do you have? I have one. Get, I'll give you this. Give me tritanium. Tritanium? So that you can do... What mm. about this one to such, oh no, yeah. We don't need mediums anymore. Okay. So I'll just take that. That way you can do more damage. Okay. You can use the two rears to knock this one out completely. I am going to do that actually. Yes. Okay. So that one goes away. Mm-hmm. It's a Klingon a Romulan cruiser. Two damage done. All right. Mm -hmm. That leaves these jokers. I could hit this overkill it by, with two, by two. That's fine. That prevents two damage from incoming. Actually, this is a bear hull, so oh, that's, right. that's going to do two damage to the hull, which will destroy it on the next turn, unless... Unless I play this. Actually, play, it's going to it's gonna board. Time. It's actually going to board because the hull is gone. It's going to do one damage to this. Yeah, you could totally use security If I team. play this and it does a damage to that, it minuses that, so it cancels it, right? Correct. It, and it destroys itself? Correct. Now, but it does two damage, doesn't it? Uh, no, that's only when it moves and shoots. The mm -hmm. one is, it does board damage based on its remaining whole life. What you could do is hang on to this and give it to me on the next turn, and we can rotate this to, to kill it. If it decloaks over yeah. here or over there, whatever, I'll be able to shoot it. Okay. Yeah. So, so I would say uh, hold on to that for when it does move. Do you have anything else to play? No. No, okay. Except for this, but... All right, yeah, hold on to that, and I'll use it for this. Okay. Okay. Um, well, that's it there. Now, do I play this now to reduce the... We'll do it whenever it does oh, okay. its thing. Threats move and fire. Uh, this is going to move and hit the bear hall. This is, again, this shield is gone. One damage, but you're going to play security team mm -hmm. to Can't prevent that one damage. Yes. Okay. So that's awesome. Now we're going to roll the die, which is somewhere. <laughs> um, it's a five. I think that's counterclockwise, which is this way. Clockwise. One and two is clockwise. Three and four, they stay. Um, so it's going to spawn here and do... Oh, it's going to board. Oh. Fine. That's fine. It does one damage. And it blows itself up. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So we take a damage there. And we win. <laughs> There's nothing left. We're limping. <laughs> oh, we're doing pretty good. We only have a... Scotty can fix that. I'm just saying. <laughs> that was just two missions. And we're about an hour into this. Imagine doing five. I think it would be so much better if... I would say three would be a nice compromise. I would say instead of this thing moving down after every turn, I think it should be me, you, and then move that I agree. down. I agree. I agree. I think that's so silly and absurd that it's like you, and then the mission goes down, me, then the mission goes down, then you, then the mission goes down. It's The timer is ridiculous. And plus, if it's not mentioned in the rule book, I would love to be able to discard cards to get rid yeah. of useless ones because 
So many times, I mean, I'm, my cards, I was only able to draw one or two in the beginning, mm -hmm. or every turn, because, like, I wasn't able to use anything. To to probably mitigate that, I would say whenever you maneuvered, like, forward, maybe move the the ships around, you know? But that would make them go further away, not closer. Roll a die. <laughs> wow. You do you, but... Because it would, it would give you a reason to, like, use these, like, ones that you're not using. Right. You know? I would prefer just to Mulligan. discard... Well, I would, no, I prefer to discard... Before mm -hmm. I draw, yeah. discard cards I don't want and then draw up to six. That's what I would do. Roll a die. Three is how many cards you discard. No. <laughs> now you're just crazy. Well, it's kind of, like, too OP, Right? To discard whatever many cards you want. So maybe do like, maybe house roll it to two cards. You can discard a maximum of two cards per turn before you drop to six, to, before you drop to five or six, depending on player count. Yeah, I feel like there should be some penalty there. Hey, <laughs> anyway. Long story short, the game can be house ruled. Yes. To, I mean, again, I would house rule that, the whole discarding cards thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I would totally, this is totally house rollable. The intro is two missions. You could totally do three instead of five. You can do whatever you want. You can even pick the missions Heck, prior use, to going in. Use all the characters. Why not? You could use all the characters <laughs> if you want. Uh, Keep track of it all. <laughs> I guess. Sure. I love this. Um, and these are a lot mm -hmm. harder than the ones that we saw, I think. Yeah. Like the change line. I need, we need two command, two science, and two security. Just to, and then mission objective. So you have to commit all of these to mm -hmm. counter the probe. Do they have any difficulty, like stars on the card or anything? No, it's, there's not, and sad. there should be. Yeah. Because I was going to say, like, in, the, in another mode, you can try not just to do five, but try to do all of them and as many as you can. And then this will be like, this will be blown up for sure, but <laughs> depending how many you did, you could score yourself. An endless you know? five-year mission yeah. until your ship blows up. Interesting. It's like seven days to die, you know? I guess. <laughs> you're guaranteed to die, but... Star Trek fans will have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. It's a computer game about zombies. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I like this. Um, the whole maneuvering the Enterprise and moving things toward you is interesting. It's definitely different than... The original Castle Panic. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I like it. It's it's it actually I actually feel like I'm actually doing I can actually move the Enterprise around rather than just rotate it. Do you, so you prefer this one over Castle Panic? I do like well this because of Star Trek. I prefer this one. Mm. Um, with I mean with Castle Panic, I can also mod it any which way I want to, but. I would rather play Star Trek than Castle Panic if because this, I like Star Trek. If this wasn't Star Trek, would you prefer this? Uh, how would that work? Like. I'm just saying, like, if it was... If this were My Little Pony, no, I would not play this. I'm saying, like, if it was... You have Castle Panic, and then you have, um, I don't know, some sort of spaceship. Maybe it's not Star Trek theme, but it's, like, space theme. Would you pr still prefer the space theme? I don't know. I kind of like the whole missions thing. In Castle Panic, your goal is to get through the bag. Mm -hmm. In this game, you're supposed to get through missions. Mm. I feel like... I'm actually, it, I feel like I'm progressing. Like, I feel like I, I'm, I'm on the Enterprise. I've got Spock. I'm completing missions. That feels more thematic to me yeah. than just getting through a bag of... I agree. A bag of enemies, you know? Yeah. Um, is there another panic? Like, there's Castle Panic. There's Castle Panic. Like... There's Dead Panic. There's, there's a couple of panics out really? there. Really? I'm mm -hmm. curious. I want to play all of them. See how different they are. Because this is pretty vastly different than the original. I mean, it's, it plays roughly the same. Mm -hmm. You do stuff with cards. You can trade with other players. You spawn new stuff. You move toward. You attack with cards. Um, so that part was familiar. Mm -hmm. The icons on the cards can be played as a thing mm -hmm. or toward a mission. Characters have different abilities that was not in Castle Panic. Mm. Um, so this, I feel like, is a step up okay. from that. Mm -hmm. And again, you can customize your experience. Two missions, uh, three, four, five, you pick. Mm -hmm. You pick the ones that you like or think are interesting to you yeah. and just play those. Um, so I think this has more staying power for that reason. Yeah. I I agree. I think if it... I'm not a fan of this. Yeah. 
trying to get things off and on and, mm -hmm. and not without breaking stuff. It's cool. It's a it's it's definitely a nice little centerpiece, yeah. but it's also a pain in the butt to mm -hmm. to maneuver and to you know fix things. I could see where it could panic. I can see this going out of control. If this was a digital game and it, we had to do like five missions, I would probably rage on install it. But <laughs> but the nice thing about tabletops is again, house rules. Yeah. Rather than do two cards or two um two tokens per turn, do one. Yeah. For an easier game. Mm -hmm. Or for a tougher game, draw three. You know, it's up to you. Yeah, it's um, tough because I, I want the panic, panic, but I also don't want to like really pull my hair out. Right. But and that's what makes this game nice is because mm -hmm. you can mod it any which way you want to. I don't know. I think I prefer the Castle Panic, but I really want to play that zombie one. Like, I don't have a zombie one. Oh, man. Okay. I sold that a very, a very long time ago. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Did you ever play it? Did you uh, ever play yeah, I played a couple times. Oh. I covered it. Okay. I gotta watch that video. <laughs> it's, I think it's just a written review. Oh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked it. I liked the missions that were good. I'm yeah. glad you liked it. Did Would you play this again or no? Um, I would. I prefer other Star Trek games like Five Year Mission and um, there was an alien tower defense that reminded me of this. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I liked it. I would play this again. Okay. In a harder mode probably. Like th see. three missions or four. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Star Trek Panic. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I put publish. This is Vincent Adelie. Thanks for watching and uh, live long and prosper. And with more characters. Okay, bye. <laughs>